Hey you guys, hey guys. Ron and Allison here from Spoken Garden and we are sitting amongst a whole bunch of dahlias in our Smart Pot fabric bags. We wanted to give you an update today. Yeah, this is so cool you guys. We've never grown these this way before. Uh, today we're gonna talk to you about not only growing these in these bags and what we've noticed so far, we're gonna talk to you about uh, pest control because we do have some pests yeah, that we've noticed yeah. and then um, actually just watering and then uh, show you actually a couple that didn't make it. And I know. So, that's what you're going to expect today in this video. Yeah, so let's get to it let's and take a it. look. So you guys, here we are in all of our grow bag dahlias here. Isn't this cool? This is so fun. I mean, so again, this is our first time doing this. We've never grown dahlias in these grow bags. And these are seven gallon grow bags from Smart Pots. You can go to smartpots.com if you want to check them out. These are the ones with the handles. So what we want to show you right now is just how these are doing. And these are doing really well. They're growing um, really healthily. We've got some pest problems and we're going to show you that stuff in just a minute. But I mean, right here, I can look just around me right here. We've got buds developing right here. You can see this. Wow. Look at that. Nice buds. Those flower buds are looking really good. And then we got some more down here, right here. I mean, all over the place. They're looking really good. Now, uh, some of these you noticed, you can probably see are a little bit shorter than others. And right now we're just kind of shifting them around, trying to make sure that they've got, you know, the shorter ones are in the front, taller ones are in the back because the sun tracks this way. And so, yeah, that's really what's going on today. We're going to, um, right now, I think we need to just think about spacing these out because they are kind of getting a little bit bigger. There, there's a little bit of shading going on here possibly. So we want to stagger them instead of having them in these nice, neat rows like we wanted to before. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start staggering these and I'm just going to kind of put them in between each other here. So if I do that, so we got a little zigzag going on here. And if you can see, so it goes zigzag. And then we'll try and move this guy up this way. Move this guy over. So you kind of see how that kind of opens it up a little bit more for them. Gives them a little bit more grow space. They're not really, as the sun tracks, they're all getting a lot more sun now or more than they would uh, if we didn't zigzag these. Now we're going to probably run into a little bit of some spacing issues here of actually what we can put where so maybe maybe i go this way and then i'll put this one over here maybe and drag that yeah there we go so yep so we got those let's go over here and try and take a look at these guys and see what we can do here there we go so yeah this isn't too bad i think we're looking pretty darn good here so, yep, yeah, still just going with that zigzag pattern. So now I want to talk to you about pest control. And so what we got going on for us anyway, this time of year, definitely slugs. So to take care of the slugs, we're going to use what's called Sluggo. And this is Sluggo Plus. A link, down, uh, a link will be down below for this uh, if you guys want to check this out. This stuff works great and we've used it for many, many years. So um, we're going to put this down first because then we found aphids. We found black aphids and they're actually, we'll show you in a minute, um, they're being herded by uh, ants, which is kind of cool, but the ants like the, uh, the honeydew that the actual, uh, the aphids excrete. And so they take that sugary, they, they eat it. So they herd the ants or they herd the aphids. The ants herd the aphids to uh, get that honeydew and then take it back to their, uh, to their nest. So to treat the aphids, because even though the ants are there hurting them, they're still, the aphids are still gonna hurt our plants. They're gonna damage them with uh, their mouthpieces. So we're gonna use what's called neem oil. And this is, um, this is a really nice product to use as an insecticide. Um, it's not uh, harmful to the plants and it's really easy to apply. And so we're gonna use this after we apply the sluggo. We wanna show you that, but first let's show you the aphids and let's show you where they're at on the plants. They're gonna be underneath either the leaves or on the stems and the buds. So let's let's show you that. Oh, and by the way, if you don't like seeing insects right now or ants, go ahead and skip forward to the next chapter, which is gonna be about uh, actually uh, the plants that didn't make it, our dahlias that didn't make it. So yeah, so go ahead and skip forward if bugs bother you. Okay guys, here we are. This is uh, one of the plants with the aphids on it. They're up here on these stems underneath these flower buds. Now, if you guys can see that, look at all those aphids. These are black aphids. Now they're just on here. What they do is the, the aphids actually, uh, they, uh, 
they have what's called a proboscis and it's like a needle mouth and they stick it inside the plant tissue and in this case on the stem and they'll put their they'll push their own saliva into the plant tissue and then what happens is is their saliva breaks down the cell structure that they then suck back out as nutrients. And so when that happens, they destroy the plant tissue and then the plant tissue gets deformed. And then uh, you actually, then that's when we start seeing, you know, in this case, the stem, it'll start growing in a certain way or growing really weird and have damage on it. And that's what happens when you have uh, aphids on your plants. They might be on the underside of the leaves, um, and if that happens, you'll see like little needle marks or like little pincushion, uh, bumpy, you know, pieces on your leaves, bully on the underside of the leaf. And you'll see it on the top as this bumpiness. And you basically, um, you'll, you'll basically need to spray for those too. So anyway, so this is what we're dealing with. We got on a couple different plants. We're going to take care of this, uh, right now. So before we do that real quick, guys, I need to put down the sluggo in and around this plant. Um, because once I put this down, then I can spray. If I spray first, I might get the uh, the neem oil on me, and I don't want to do that afterwards. So let's get this down first. And this this comes this is really cool. This comes with a little shaker uh, holes on the cap, so you just literally open this up, and then you just shake it around at the base of the plant, put where the slugs are going to come in, and then once they hit it, boy, they don't like it. They turn right around and go somewhere else. So that's what we want. So I'm just gonna do that. So there you go. If you guys can see that, those are those are all new pieces of uh, Sluggo. And we'll do that throughout all of these bags to make sure that all of our plants are being uh, treated right and not eaten by the slugs. All right, guys, I'm gonna apply my neem oil right here, as you can see. You wanna do this in the coolest time of the day, either in the very morning or in the afternoon as best practice. So just wanna make sure you know that. So here we go, here's our neem oil. Gonna get all the way around. They really don't like this stuff, and for good reason. We're just gonna soak this area, and actually, so this product says to spray until dripping, and we're definitely dripping, so. Gonna have to some some of this stuff you're gonna have to get at a different angle to get all the different spots and that's okay so now what you want to do is follow the directions on your uh, product of neem oil whatever you're using this calls for treatment every 7 to 14 days but if heavy infestations are there do it every seven days so now we're just going to come back in seven days and uh, see if there's anything left if there's any of these guys left and if there are we'll spray them again all right guys if you don't want to use a neem oil or any other type of insecticide on any of your plants including your dahlias you can always come up in a real uh, non-chemical way a real easy way use your hose use the water and just literally knock them off and with the water as it runs and hits them on the stem or the leaves of your plant. So that's one way we know of to take care of it in a non-chemical way. Okay, you guys, so um, as part of the update, we also wanted to show you kind of what didn't go well and it wasn't anyone's fault. These are just bulbs that, you know, for whatever reason, they didn't make it. Um, so these bags, and actually there were five total bulbs of our, or dahlias of ours that did not produce any stems or leaves. We thought they might, but we weren't sure. So what I'm gonna do is kind of dig these up and we're gonna take a look. Um, there's one right here that I already dug up and re have, I've since reused the pot for a different plant. So that's our intent with all of these bags here is to reuse them some other way in our garden. So this was the dahlia I found in that bag and you can see I, I dug it up and then my finger went right through it right there. So you can see it's kind of, kind of uh, soft and that's not what you want for a dahlia. So let's see what's going on in these other bags. It's too bad because now I can't even find this one. So, okay, moving on. Now this one from last year had stems. So we know that this worked last year. Maybe I should have gloves on, but eh, it doesn't look that bad, but it's, it's squishy. So, okay, moving on. It's always fun to dig them up and see what's going on under the surface. Oh, here we are yeah this one's squishy so again all these bags can be reused and we love these bags have been really great for the other dahlias though so um, they're breathable so i'm not finding anything in here either that's kind of weird must have been a very small bulb that we weren't sure about so yeah i don't know so what we're going to do is take all the soil out replenish it start over and uh, pot up some of our plants that really need it and we'll just repurpose the bags 
Okay, you guys, so that's a wrap, um, an update on all of our dahlias so far. We can't wait to show you uh, when they bloom, which should be pretty soon. Yep, and if you guys have any comments or questions about what we did here today, or you just want to know more about what we're actually, how we're actually growing these dahlias, let us know down below in the comments. We love hearing from you. And make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, so you get updates on our latest videos. Yeah, thank you for watching, for being here, and we'll see you in the next video. Yep. Bye. Bye, guys.